गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज इंटेग्रेटेड सर्किट दैट इज़ के ई सी फाइव जीरो वन माई सेल्फ उमा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ई सी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टूडे इन दिस क्लास आई एल डिस्कस द ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आई सी इट्स पिन डाइग्राम एंड फंक्शनल ब्लॉक डाइग्राम एज पर द सिलेबस दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ यूनिट फाइव एंड दिस इज वेरी with respect to your university exams so these are the content of my uh, lecture triple 5 timer ic introduction then we will discuss the ic triple 5 timer pin diagram then we will discuss the functional block diagram its operation and then we will discuss applications and in last we will proceed with the conclusion <coughs> so uh, the word this ic comprises of triple 5 so there are uh, three uh, five in the name of this ic it is having its own significance why uh, the name is triple 5 timer we will see through the uh, op functional diagram of this ic in this diagram you can see that there are eight pins four in one side four in uh, another side so it is dual in package ic this is dip kind of ic and it is designed in 1971 by hans and uh, uh, this is given by this signetics company basically this timer is highly stable circuit that can generate the time delay and oscillations that means with the help of this triple 5 timer ic we can generate any delay or oscillations that means i can say it is a a uh, waveform generator kind of circuit with the help of this triple 5 timer ic we can generate waveforms in many um, uh, or i can say in every circuit we require different different kind of waveforms like uh, sine wave square wave triangular wave sawtooth wave these waveforms are required for the operation of any circuit if we talk about the integrated circuit so integrated circuit means combination of n number of component on a single chip so that means there are lot of circuitry involved in uh, any ic so for the operation of this any type of ic we require different waveforms different signals these signals will be in the form of any type of waveform so waveform generators are very very useful in the field of electronics so with the help of this triple 5 timer ic we can generate different kind of waveforms we can change the duty cycle of this waveform time period frequency uh, and this is very popular ic it can operate um, for a wide range of supplies like plus 5 volt to plus 18 volt so uh, the ic can operate at plus 5 volt as well as uh, up to the plus 18 volt supply so the timer uh is one of the most popular and versatile integrated circuit which is very uh old but very recent in fashion uh, very recent also it is 30 year old but still we are using this with the help of triple 5 timer ic we can uh, uh implement digital ics uh, uh, that, that that means the there that can be used for the implementing of the digital circuit as well as the analog circuit this ic actually can uh, used in digital and analog combination if we see the internal diagram of this ic there are some uh, block which are implementing using the digital circuit some blocks uh, are implementing uh, implemented using the analog circuits so it is also known as the time machine because we can generate any kind of delay starting from microseconds to the hour with the help of this ic that's why we can perform variety of the timing task like uh, we can generate bounce free switches cascaded uh, timers uh, some alarms we can uh, implement using this triple uh, 5 timer we can implement frequency divider we can uh, implement voltage controlled oscillator pulse generator led and many more so there are so many applications in the field of electronics in which we can use triple 5 timer ic as a waveform generator so this is the pin diagram of this triple 5 timer ic there are eight pins 
pin number 1 is corresponding to the ground. The pin is used to provide the ground that means 0 volt to this IC. Pin number 2 can be used as trigger input. So, this is actually an input pin where we can apply some input. Pin number 3 is output pin. For uh, we can reset using the pin number 4. Suppose if we want to reset the IC, if we want to stop the operation of the IC, we can use pin number 4. So, directly we can switch on or off with the help of this reset uh, pin. Pin number 5 is also known as input pin. This is also an input pin by which we can control the operation of the IC. That is why it is known as control voltage pin. Pin number 6 is the threshold voltage. This is also a uh, input. We can apply the voltage at this uh, pin to uh, change the operation or to uh, vary the frequency or time period of the output waveform. The pin number 7 is used to discharge. So, uh, uh, this pin is used to discharge the output node. That means, at output node definitely some capacitors uh, are connected. So, to discharge these uh, capacitor, the pin number 7 is used and definitely to provide the supply to the IC, a pin is required which is a pin number 8. So, here in this pin diagram, you can see that there are total 8 pin starting from ground, ground to VCC. The supply can vary from plus 5 volt to plus 18 volt. There are uh, different different IC provided by different different companies they uh, can operate in between 5 to 18 volt. So, uh, here we see the diagram um, means functional block diagram of this IC. A voltage divider which is having 3 5 kilo ohm resistor is used in this uh, circuitry that is why the name comes triple 5 timer. So, in the inside of triple 5 timer, there is a uh, voltage divider which is made up of 5 kilo ohm 3 resistors that is why name is triple 5. The, in the name another term is timer. So, the main application of this IC is to provide delay to generate the timing waveforms. So, that is why this term timer uh, is used with this uh, IC that is triple 5 timer. It uh, divides the input means this voltage divider divide the input into three equal parts. That is why these three equal registers are used in the uh, designing of this IC. Along with this voltage divider, uh, one, uh, two comparators are used which are designed using the operational amplifier which compare the voltage at their input and saturate because uh, these are the comparators. Comparators can be used in the open loop configuration. So, the op amp saturate depending upon the uh, input provided at the inverting and non-inverting terminal. So, let us say suppose this is operational amplifier. There are two pins, one is inverting, second one is the non-inverting. So, operational amplifier can be used to design a comparator. So, this is the simple circuit of, of comparator. Suppose at this uh, uh, negative in, negative pin that is inverting input V1 is connected at non-inverting node V2 is connected. So, then output will equals to the gain of the circuit that is A V2 minus V1 because it is connected in open loop configuration. So, this gain is very high nearly equals to infinite. So, the supply suppose uh, this op amp ha ha is having 15 plus minus 15 volt supply. So, the output cannot exceed plus 15 and minus 15 and gain is very high. So, depending on the difference, if this V2 minus V1 is positive, suppose it is positive, that means V2 is whenever uh, V2 is greater than V1, in that case this V2 minus V1 will be positive and in that case this output will be definitely more than 15 because gain is very high. But because maximum supply of this operational amplifier is 15 volt, then output will saturate at 15 volt. That is why it is written that saturate depending on the, uh, depending upon which is greater. So, if non-inverting terminal is having greater voltage, then definitely the output will be plus 15 volt. 
and in case V2 is less than V1, that means the voltage at the inverting node is greater than the voltage at non-inverting node, then this output will be minus 15 volts. So, uh, this is how this comparator can produce the square waveform depending on the uh, labels of V1 and V2. Uh, the op-amp is used to implement two comparator to produce the timing waveform in triple five timer IC. Next, in the uh, circuit of triple five timer, a flip-flop is also used, which is a bi-stable device, and this can generate two values: high level, which is equivalent to VCC or VDD, if we use the uh, MOS technology, if we use the BJT technology, then the high level is corresponding to VCC, whereas the low level means ground and that correspond to 0 volt. So, uh, let us see what, what is the meaning of flip flop. The flip flop is a memory element in which we can store a single bit, like the flip flop can store 1 or 0 at a time. It is uh, a bi-stable device. The meaning of bi-stable is that in case of flip-flop, both the states are uh, uh, stable state. Suppose flip-flop is, uh, let us say example of SR flip-flop. I think you all are aware with the SR flip-flop. I can draw the truth table for SR flip-flop over there and we can understand the concept of storing one bit. For uh, SR flip flop is also known as set reset flip flop. Here in this IC, we will use SR flip flop only. So, that is why I am discussing about SR flip flop. So, for SR flip flop, if clock is high, this is the condition because flip flop operate on a clock. The if it are positive as triggered, then there is a change in the output only at the positive edge of the clock. Whereas, if we, uh, we are designing the negative edge triggered flip flop, then the flip flop will change its state at the negative edge of the clock. So, let us say it is positive edge triggered flip flop and the Q is 1, that means clock is 1. In that case, there are two inputs S and R and there uh, are four combination to represent these two uh, inputs. For this, we can find the next state of the flip flop. If both the inputs are 0, there is no change in the state. That means, it can have the same state can be given by Q n. Whereas, when S is 0 and R is 1 that represent the flip flop must store 0 bit. So, in that case, the output will be 0. The flip flop is known as in reset state. In case of S equals to 1, R equals to 0, the output means next state Q n plus 1 will be 1 and this is known as set state of the flip flop. Whereas, for this combination when both the inputs are 1, the SR flip flop is having a invalid output because in that case uh, the logic diagram of SR flip flop will produce 0 or 1 at q, whereas 0 or 1 at the q bar. So, this is not possible that q equals to q bar. So, that is why this state is known as invalid state. So, in SR flip flop, this is prohibited state. We will not use this state uh, uh, for the function of SR flip flop. These three states can be used. So, uh, in triple five timer IC, this SR flip flop is used. The SR flip flop can be implemented using NOR latch or NAND latch. Just I am showing the diagram, logic diagram of SR flip flop. If it is a bi-stable device, that means both the states are a stable state. So, this is the SR latch. This input can be come from the AND gate or you can implement it with the NOR gate also. This is the clock fire, this is R, 
this is s here this is q and this is q bar so this is how we can implement sr flip flop and here you can see that if clock is 1 if this clock is 1 this end gate produce the output depending on the value of r and s suppose q equals to 0 in that case the output of first end gate will be 0 output of second end gate will also equals to 0 so for clock 1 this input will not pass to this sr latch but in case of uh, q equals to 1 that means clock is high in that case the circuit can pass the value of r and s into the sr latch so suppose clock is high and the value of r is 1 and the value of s is 0 so you can uh, see that if the value of s is 0 that will produce 0 over here and if 0 is connected to this nor gate that will produce 1 over here if 1 is connected over here then q equals to 0 so you can see that for r equals to 1 and s equals to 0 the output is equals to 0 and this is known as reset state so this sr uh, flip flop is used here a transistor is also used in the uh, inside of this triple five timer and this transistor is used uh, as a switch and this is connected to pin number 7 which is used to uh, discharge the output node towards the ground whenever this switch is closed so this is the internal component of this triple five timer ic basically a divider two comparator and one uh, sr flip flop and another is the discharge transistor the uh, circuit can be used in this circuit can be used in uh, mono stable and a stable um, both the um, configuration or both the mode that means with the help of this circuit we can implement mono stable multi vibrator and a stable multi vibrator i hope you are aware with the multi vibrators uh, multi vibrators are the circuit by which we can produce the square waveform so uh, if there is one stable state then this uh, circuit is known as mono stable multi vibrator and if the uh, there are no stable state then the circuit is known as a stable multi vibrator as we have seen in the previous uh, slide that flip flop is the bi stable circuit uh, there are three type of actually circuits bi stable mono stable and a stable in bi stable like flip flops both the states are stable that means the circuit can remain in that state for indefinite time uh, but if we want to change the state we have to apply some logic or we have to sub, uh, apply some control voltage at the input terminal then the circuit can change its state which is the stable state and after the after the change state the circuit can again uh, retain that state for the indefinite time but is in case of mono stable multi vibrator here uh, the the circuit is used to produce a single pulse pulse whenever it is triggered so a uh, mono stable multi vibrator um, can be used for the specific applications uh, whereas a stable multi vibrator can produce the square waveform because there is no stable state that means the circuit can uh, remain in zero state but after some time without applying any input voltage that will move to the another state because it is also an unstable state the circuit will come to another state so this process repeats and we can get this waveform so this is how uh, we can implement the uh, a stable multi vibrator operation and that can produce the square waveform so now uh, with the uh, knowledge of this inside of triple uh, five timer circuit we can design the internal diagram of the triple five timer so i have told you there are there is one voltage divider using three register of 5k 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 there are two comparator so there are two comparator using op amp one flip flop 
that is SR flip flop. Now uh, you can see the connection of this uh, comparators. There is one input that that this terminal is connected over here, and here this is connected with a input. This is connected with VCC and here also this is connected over there and this pin is connected with a input. So, there are two inputs one is known as uh, this node is also known as sorry this is known as another input node which is control. And if we see the pin diagram of the circuit, there are trigger, one is trigger, second one is the reset, control voltage and threshold. So, I can point out these pin, this is control pin, this is trigger, trigger, input, here you can apply uh, threshold. For reset, this is clock signal, there is a transistor which is used as a discharge transistor and it is connected with this Q bar and from here by connecting an inverter you can take the output. So, this is the internal diagram of triple five timer. You can see that if these uh, 5 k resistors are connected in this fashion, so at this node you can calculate the voltage. So, if I apply the voltage divider, so that will be equals to VCC into the addition of these two resistors that is 10 k divided by the total resistance that is 15 k. So, that is equals to 2 by 3. So, at this node the voltage will equals to 2 by 3 of VCC. Whereas, at this node, I can calculate the voltage. This voltage is equivalent to 5k into VCC divided by 5k plus 10k and that is equals to 5 by 15 times of VCC. So, that is 1 by 3 of VCC. So, at this node, the voltage is 1 by 3 of VCC, whereas at this node this is 2 by 3 of VCC. So, one input of the uh, comparator is fixed that is, is 2 by 3 of VCC and 1 by 3 of VCC. Depending on the external input that is threshold and trigger, the op uh, will produce the saturated output. So, suppose uh, uh, the output at non-inverting node is high as compared to input at the uh, inverting terminal. So, this will produce 1 over there. If the input at non-inverting node is less than the input at inverting node, so that will produce 0. So, this combination will be R equals to 1, S equals to 0. In that case, accordingly the SR flip flop will produce Q equals to 1 and Q bar equals to 0. If Q bar equals to 0, that means this transistor is off. So, that means discharge pin is disconnected. But when this in when q bar equals to 1 in the opposite case when uh, the, uh, the combination is reversed the uh, output of uh, comparator 1 is 0 and output of comparator second is 1 in that case q equals to 1 and q bar uh, q equals to 0 and q bar equals to 1 in that case this will connect this node to the discharge pin and we will get the 0 output. So, either we can take output from the q bar pin directly we can take output from this pin directly or we can take output by just by connecting buffer or inverter at the output of Q. So, Q bar this output is equivalent to Q bar. So, if you want to discharge that means if you want to take the 0 output then this discharge transistor is on. Whenever uh, we want to get the high output then this dis discharge transistor is off. So, this is how we can get 1 or 0 at the output. So, the output waveform will of the timer will be like this. 
in uh, square wave form uh, uh, in the pattern of square wave, but we can change the frequency and the duty cycle of this waveform just by changing the threshold voltage and trigger. Generally, the control input is not applied, but we can apply the control logic also to change the uh, state of the uh, flip flop. To reset, there is another pin. We have discussed uh, total 8 pins. So, pin number 1 is this, pin number 8 is this. We can use control threshold and trigger pin. This transistor is representing pin number 7 that is discharge. This is the output pin, pin number 3 for the output. One is pin number 4 that is for reset. So, we, we can reset the, we can reset this flip flop just by pressing this uh, reset button. So, it is like a switch. So, just by pressing this reset uh, button, we can reset the output of the flip flop. That means, the output can, uh, output of the flip flop will be 0, 0 means uh, that can retain the previous state and output will be 0 and in, the, in that case. So, whenever we want to off the uh, flip flop, then we can press the reset pin. So, this is how uh, we can understand the operation of the triple five timer IC with the help of this block diagram. Now, uh, let us see the application, different application of this um, triple five timer. We can implement a shimmy trigger using the triple five timer. Uh, shimmy trigger are the circuits by which we can generate the square waveforms. So, using the triple five timer uh, IC, we can implement mono stable multi vibrator, mono stable multi vibrator. We can implement A stable. Shimmy trigger is nothing but A stable multi vibrator. So, with the help of triple five timer, we can achieve the shimmy trigger operation that we have already seen in the unit second, we can implement shimmy trigger using operational amplifier also. Another application is PPM that is pulse position modulation. The use of um, triple five timer in the field of modulation is very popular. The pulse position modulation means we can uh, modulate the position of the pulse means we can change the uh, position of the pulse without changing the other characteristic of the waveform. So, this is very easy to implement using the triple five timer IC. The next application is the PWM that is the pulse width modulation. So, along with the pulse uh, position of the pulse, we can change the width of pulse just by changing the duty cycle of the pulse. So, just by changing the duty cycle, we can uh, change the width of the pulse. So, the, the, that means the triple five timer can be used in the pulse width modulation. Next application is the linear ramp generator. So, definitely with the help of triple five timer IC, we can generate different kind of waveform like so we can generate uh, ramp type of waveform or if we uh, apply the control input like this, we can generate linear uh, ramp with the help of triple five timer IC. Another uh, very uh, useful or real life example like in case of Diwali lights, we can use this uh, triple five timer. Whenever we want to glow the yellow light for the particular duration, we can set that time for that uh, yellow light will blow. Another uh, like uh, after two second, we can provide the delay of two second. So, uh, this is a beautiful application of a triple five timer just by applying the delay or providing the delay we can change the color of light. So, uh, in Diwali lights definitely we can use triple five timer IC to change the color as per the required delay. So, different functions can be implemented using the triple five timer IC. Uh, as we have seen the 741 IC, 741 IC is made up of uh, uh, transistors means may, uh, op -am, operational amplifier IC made up of transistor. Here we have seen that the triple five timer IC is the combination of digital as well as the analog blocks. Like uh, we have used the operational amplifier as an analog block like transistor we have used as analog block whereas um, flip flops are also being used in the circuit. 
with the help of flip flop we can uh, uh, we can generate the different timing circuits because uh, the, the nature of flip flop is bistable so uh, here in this ic we have used both the blocks analog as well as the digital so this is the combination of uh, digital and analog circuits so i, I in last i can say the triple five timer can produce very accurate and stable time delays from microseconds to hours that means it is the beauty of the circuits we can generate a microsecond delay as well as a delay of hours like we want to design a, a, a light if like i have taken the example of diwali lights so if i want to add a delay of one hour like for the one hour the color of light will be green and after one hour it will be yellow so i can do with the help of this triple five timer it can be used with the supply voltage in the range from 5 volt to 18 volt so uh, uh, there is a very wide range for the electronics anything can be done in between 5 to 18 so the ic can operate in between 5 to 18 volt the timers can be used in the stable mode of operation as well as the a stable mode of operation that means uh, just like we have implemented mono stable and a stable using operational amplifier we can implement mono stable and a stable mode of operation using the triple five timer also uh, it, it is having various applications which includes waveform generator uh, missing pulse detector different frequency divider circuits pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation different alarms can be implemented using this uh, triple five timer triple five timer can also be used in the uh, uh, fsk generators that is the frequency shift keying ramp uh, waveform ramp type of waveform can also be generated using the triple five timer ic and we can use in the pulse position modulator uh, so with the help of triple five timer ic we can implement many applications so this is very popular ic uh, and uh, having both the circuits analog and digital so uh, this is all about from my side thank you so much